I gotta tell you, Seahorse. Making it to the finale would mean the world to me. I get it. To be honest, I'm totally fangirling over here. But that doesn't mean I still don't want to beat you. <laughs> well, may the best mask win. Welcome back to the Mask Singer Super 6. Before the break, Seahorse got us off to the races, but now we hear from her face-off competitor, the Crocodile. So here's a little history lesson involving the journey of our favorite raging reptile. Competing as the Crocodile has made me feel more alive than I have in a long time. These pink jaws give me the freedom to finally do all the different genres of music. From rock and roll, to iconic Britney, to a heartfelt ballad. That was amazing! And tonight, I picked a song that's deeply personal to me. Because I'm not just doing this for myself, but for my crocklings, my kids, my everything. He has kids! That's a big girl. I love them so much, I literally drive eight hours to see them after every show. Because I don't want to miss a thing. And the only thing that matters to me now is them having the life and the love I didn't have as a child. I've heard Seahorse sing, and I know she has the voice. But nobody has more heart than me. I'm gonna leave it all out on that stage for you. Now here's a super clue for you to sink your teeth into. Pizza Rat. Paisanos, this clue is bellissima. It's hard because we got Seahorse against Crocodile, and Crocodile's like this real showstopper, kind of like it feels like a he's got like fanboy moves. Yeah. I can stay awake just to hear you breathing. Watch you smile while you are sleeping. Why you far away and dreaming? I could spend my life in the sweet surrender. I could stay lost in this moment forever. Cause every moment spent with you is a moment I dream. Something about that that might be your best performance yes. yet because you know because yes. it built and then when he hit for the high note I swear Ken looked at me like he needed nothing else in life that was amazing <laughs> great job man. oh yeah 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 dude I want to wrestle somebody <laughs> I, I, he just in that song is such a you know a power ballad and the way you sang it corny alert but it was like okay this is that end of the movie this is why people fall in love yes. right there yeah. you know what I'm saying Aww. so yeah thank you. Well, what is inside the safe of the crocodile? Most importantly, who is our singer connected to? Somebody up there, Men in Black, bring out the safe. Yes, Men in yeah. Black. Oh, he got one of those, like, digital safes. I'm like, 
the like, little crocodile back yeah. on the face. Whoa! Oh. oh. It says Craig. Cra oh? Hey, Craig, you're one of my favorite actors, and it's so cool to be able to share the screen with you again. Whoa! Oh. Oh. What? Again. What? Do I get to ask questions? <laughs> no. I mean, he's not going to get an answer. He can ask all the questions. Oh, but you, you want. can tell by body language, right? right? You, right. you know how to read Crocodile Body? I, no, I narrowed it down to 20 people. <laughs> oh. I've only been on screen with a few professional singers, and everybody's talking about how it feels like it's a boy band. Yes. And only boy band I sang with was Backstreet Boys in the oh, movie. Okay. This is the end. Yep. But then the only two people who have crocklings or kids out of the Backstreet Boys is AJ McClain or Howie oh. D. Yeah, but you know what? Nick Carter also has kids. I said Backstreet Boys, not Backstreet Men. <laughs> <laughs> well, from the rocker voice, I know that AJ lends his voice to that. Yeah, he definitely has a rocker voice. AJ McClain. All right. All right, all right, all right, settle. I think Crocklings for his three kids. Jeans block. I tell you, no one, and I repeat, no one rocked a pair of shirtless denim overalls better than Nick Lachey during his 98 degree save. Pizza wrap, New York City. He, Nick Lachey has a daughter named Brooklyn, and she likes pizzas and hates rats. Look at him. He's stopping. Nick Lachey, yes, you are. Nick Lachey, guess where I come back. No, 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 no. Come back. No, 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 no. I know you're Nick Lachey because. Nick and Craig have a connection, all right? Nick Lachey guest starred on The Office. I remember the scene. He was like, yo, I'm Nick Lachey. Where Daryl at? These Great are episode. lies. Nick Lachey has never been on The Office. Whoa! I do think that is a good guess, though. Because I, I so. thought it could be Nick Lachey at one point as well. You almost made the crocodile walk off the stage. You know but... what? It's, so good. it's not the first time a contestant has left during one of my guesses, and it won't be the last. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. You know what? Wait, wait, wait. Yeah. Nick, I just want to say, oh, in anything in life, it always comes down to how bad do you want it. Yes. Right. And tonight, I felt like this is the Super Six because I was like, oh, Crocodile does not want to know. He gave me all the feels. Indeed, indeed. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for the Crocodile one more time for that amazing performance. Did the Croc rock enough to beat the seahorse? Tell us what you think.